beautiful Worsley Woods. It is a very nice day today. So I'm just having a wander around on the paths to see what I can find. But usually I end up going off the paths. Um, something usually catches my eye. We'll see what happens. This is what I was hoping to see today. A gorgeous field of buttercups. This is a good tip for anyone who wants to do any painting outside. If you protect your tripod with nettles and thistles, then anyone who's walking past isn't tempted to grab it. I've also tucked myself into a little corner with fences behind me. I've got um, a path coming down this way, one that way and one that way and I want to be able to make sure I can check all of them. Feel safer that way. All set up for painting now. The usual colours, crimson, ultramarine, cadmium yellow, titanium white, raw umber and a bit of the cobalt blue. I want to paint buttercups today because um, I want to remember the passing of a friend on the internet whose name was Buttercup. And when I walked around the corner today and saw this, I immediately thought of her um, and wanted to remember her and also something from my childhood, which was if you take a buttercup like this and put it under your chin, if you see yellow reflected on your chin, it means you like butter. So it's almost like these, uh, these actually contain butter. We know that butter doesn't come from buttercups, but the idea of a cup of butter is what is the inspiration for what I'm going to paint today. I'm going to start with a smaller brush today because I'm going to put in um, a little character before I do the rest of it. And this character is, is going to be holding a buttercup with one hand and in the other he's going to be holding a little uh, uh, spoon to collect it in. Plenty of people walking past, which again, makes me feel nice and safe. If I have that hand holding the sedge edge of the buttercup, and this one going down with the spoon, that's better. Okay, oh, and the cows are coming over. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see the cows in the background. The cows are moving over. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's this line of trees in here with the cows in front. I don't know if I'll put the cows in, but I'll definitely put in that line of trees. Now, the problem is, if I just put it smack bang in the middle, it's going to really sit awkwardly in the, uh, in the painting. So what I'm thinking of doing is having it so that I'm pointing more in this direction over here. So I'm going to move that tree line more to there. <laughs> and the cows are actually disappearing into the trees now. And then <laughs> those fantastic cows. And there's also some more trees behind these that I can play with, but most of it's gonna be the buttercups coming down to the grass with him in the front, collecting butter out of the buttercup. Start at the back, work to the front, start with the sky. So you know this way. Hey, yeah. Do you know this way, 
And then the uh, trees in the background will have like a purplish haze to them. That was a runner going past. So just indicating a bit of the shadows underneath there. So the next thing I'm going to put in is uh, where the field is just wrapping behind that edge of the trees there. I'm just going to do that round there and then I can paint the trees on top. A nice pale colour there that's starting to pick out the yellow of the buttercups. Right now it's time to put the trees in. What I've done is I've used a brighter green very slightly than the background green and in doing that it brings these trees forward slightly some grass that's stuck up. Right, now that lovely shadow underneath where the cows have basically eaten all the trees to a certain height I love it when that happens. So many planes going over. So you can tell when um, a field has livestock in it because the trees around the outside are clipped. It does look like they've actually been clipped to a certain height and that's how high the animals can be bothered reaching to get their little bit of snack of food. I think that's enough. Anything darker I want in the foreground now. Yeah, that's okay. Sun's starting to go down here and I've got trees behind me. So I think it's going to be a nice light to paint this in. There's sugar stealers everywhere. Might put some sugar stealers in at the end. Depends how I feel. They're landing on me as well. So just over that side we've got the Bridgewater Canal at Worsley where the canal water is actually orange. There is a scientific reason for that, in that there's iron in the water, but I'm absolutely, I'm definitely going to be doing a painting on why the water at Worsley Woods is, uh, at Worsley Canal is orange. It's got to be done. Just as I was setting up, some kids went past on bikes and headed off into the, those trees in there there's actually a like a pond in there uh, they had a fishing rod and bikes but they had one fishing rod between five of them and all I can hear is squealing and fun and I don't think they're doing much fishing but they're having a good time the other thing I'm using in the background is a long 
horizontal strokes because that's what I can see the butterfly the buttercups lay further back as it comes closer towards us lighten that up it does start to change color that the horizontalness of the strokes starts to become more vertical and it quite close in that's what you get is the vertical and the good thing is if I get some proper browns um, browns and greens in here those buttercup colors will really stand out <laughs> They're going to scare the kids away. <laughs> right, that's the background done. A bit of both. <laughs> oh, I love the painting. Thank you, thank you. just putting in not putting in the cows I'm putting in the, the buttercups using a paintbrush that's actually started to split on the ends I'm not I'm determined not to paint those cows I really am This guy here, he's looking at me now. She's looking at me. Is it a she or a he? Are you? No, I think these are boys. Yeah, these are the boys. I wonder if he comes over and has a look. <laughs> yeah, they're coming over. They're the younger, the young males, aren't they? Hello there, cow. Hello there. Are you having a sniff? Hey? Yeah, I can't paint though while you're doing that. Are you coming to have a look as well? This one's eating my buttercups. As they get closer, 
they're going to get bigger. I'm going to have to paint these uh, whiter first and then do the yellow over the top. Where's he going? A bit more detail now. Yeah, the rest of it is going to be working on him uh, mostly. So I'm going to, before the light changes completely, I think I've been here maybe an hour or so, I'm going to get in some of the details. Now I wanted some of these to come really high up as well, didn't I? I had them quite high up here. It's this one. So it comes up as a V here, goes up that way. It's like three come off the stem. And then at that stem, there'll be a, a leaf and then it'll come down. There we go. I think that's gonna be enough information for I can't stop, can I? Well, there's still wet paint in my palette and the painting isn't finished. I tend to carry on. That's it, so it looks as though his knees are bent. Right, last thing I'm gonna do is Right, as far as getting information from the actual scene, quite pleased with that. The sky's gone a bit hazier. I'm glad I kept it with a bit more cobalt in it because I'm going to bring the cobalt down a little bit further into the painting. It's getting quite shadowy now as well. But I shall pack up, take this home, and back to the studio. So it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from the cows. <laughs> there we go. This is where we're up to. I've done a bit more on here. Done some of the stems on the buttercups. Uh, and I'm, I've did a purple wash, a purple glaze over the whole thing. I think the purple in the background will help the yellow sit a bit more when uh, I've gone over the yellow. I don't like the way that stem goes vertically down here, so I'm going to change it completely. I'm going to obliterate it and change it completely so it looks at a different angle. That looks a little bit better there now, but it's left um, a space here, so I think another, another couple of buttercups there will help. We're starting to get a sense now of just how many buttercups were in the field. And that's exactly what I was after, was a whole host of buttercups, not just uh, a few. Right, smaller brush time, don't keep... This one's quite a big one. I'm definitely going to be doing something with the butter in there as well later. I think. He's definitely got a yellow tinge to his skin. 
much from being around buttercups for so long. And it means that he can hide in the but in the buttercup field. I've used uh, some purple here to put half of his face in shadow. On a sunny day, the shadows on this side of the face are going to be really dark. So here's what I've done for the end of the second day. Um, I changed his arm completely, wasn't happy with it going up at an angle. It meant that his arm was way too long. So I've brought it down, foreshortened it, so it's, it's actually bent, but it's bending on the same plane as our eyes. Um, defined a few more of the butterflies, uh, butterflies, I keep saying butterflies. Uh, defined some more of the buttercups, done some more work on the basket. Um, I'm going to leave that to dry now and enjoy a nice evening and start again tomorrow. It's been lovely sat out in the back garden. <laughs> the wind's blowing the uh, umbrella around. End of day two. Here we have Buttercup Bert. Mm. Spent about an hour or so on him today finishing off details and things just wanted to make sure it looked like he was collecting some butter out of the buttercups thank you again to everyone who's subscribed and if you like and subscribe any any of the videos on my channel it's are really really grateful for it and thank you very much <laughs>